today we will be making the first official tour slash update video of this channel. So, right up, you've got Whitney, she's my Chaka Goldeny. I received her from a teacher and I've been having such a great time with her and she's out today which is great. Next, before she goes back into her hide, we have Mango, my leopard gecko. I've had her for two years, bought her from an expo. And she's been doing great. The next animal will be this is my South African funnel web spider. She still does not have a name, so if there are any suggestions, please write that down in the comments. Then we've got the trapdoor spiders. There's four of them. This one and this one we rehoused in la in the last video. So we'll be quickly checking on them. And I'll update you on how they've been doing. This one, right away, you can see the lid over there. This is the first time she's ever made a lid that I've had, and I've had her for almost three weeks now. This one has made a tiny lid. I can see it, but it's very hard to see it, so I'll just be taking out a tool. My pointer, right there. That's the lid. I don't want to lift it because the spider is pulling it down but that's a little over there just trust me on that then we have a latrodectus no latrodesus no destus latrodestus geometricus and this that is the brown button spider as you can see there it's a, it says venomous yes this is indeed a venomous species it's related to the black widow this is a widow spider as you can see very small enclosure so you should expect a rehousing video pretty soon so we here oh, freaking light okay that was not expected but over here bring some light this is the Europlectus triangular for scorpion I rehoused. I made some quick renovations in here. So I added some moss. I just put a different type of rock in there, I believe. I can't remember. And I added some bamboo clippings. And she's been doing great. She's been eating pretty well. She has made a burrow under that rock over there. In here, there's another Europlectus triangular for She's been doing great and she is hiding behind that rock over there. Then I've got another Europlectus triangular. I won't be opening up this one or this one over here because then this video is going to just be too long. Up here, got my Solifugia. I'll show you her in a second. But first, this is my South African tropical tent or I don't know, mesh web spider. Hope she's still in here. She might have. Oh, she is in there. She's you see that dot way back there. That's that's the spider So I'll quickly see if she made a Mesh web. Yeah, she started on it. Don't know if you can see let's try and See there, but there she is right there and she started on the web if I can just put it in the light You can see she started on her web So that's great that she didn't try to escape. I'll be putting a leaf in there because they use the, a leaf that has fallen on the web as a hide. Next, I'll show you the Solifugid. And then we'll move on to the next animal. I'm gonna try and open this without struggling too much. Ugh, heck no. No. I hate it when these enclosures do it. 
Right under this rock is my Solifugid. Her name is Jaws. Hello, Jaws. And she's been doing surprisingly well. Usually they don't do very well. Oh no, don't, don't come out, don't come out. Just go back in there. These animals are renowned for their humongous jaws, hence the name called the jaws for that reason. And they are also known to be quite finicky when kept in captivity. And this one has been doing quite well, even though she hasn't eaten. It's winter in South Africa right now. So she will not be eating, that's why she's made the burrow, she's hiding in there because usually you see them running around in the day. Over here is um, Snickers and Snickers is a bark mantid and I'm going to try to open this with one hand now I have to pin it down with my leg It is not opening I'm going to have to put you down for a second You see that hump over there? I'm going to try and make him move but he is right over there come on Snickers move why doesn't this camera want to focus there you can see his leg and there's his head over there but he is over there and he's still alive I've had him for quite a long time about two months he's been doing good I just have to close this, don't know how I'm going to do that going to have to put you down after that I've got this this is those Hissa cockroaches Madagascan hissing cockroaches they are up there they've been doing not too bad they've been eating well remember they used to be housed in this critter keeper well I moved them because it was just the lid had a lot of slits in it and they could easily escape through that and I don't want cockroaches running around in the room that I'm paid some money for and moving on to the next animal on this wall over here we have got Fricky my brother's bearded dragon and Fricky will be shown in much more videos so probably one of the most adorable animals in this room wish this was my animal then down there in the darkness we've got Kola the leopard gecko also belongs to my brother I've got my fish tank over here with probably about 80 fish in there the guppies have been producing a lot of babies in here and they just don't want to stop there's a snail hanging upside down on a on a string of algae snails are always funny it's, this aquarium is reaching its two year mark next is curly the ever unhappy curly hair tarantula I'm gonna try and wait I'm gonna get my straw and then I'm gonna try. yeah she bit this she there's a hole in there so we'll see if she will come out I'm gonna have to take yeah look at this she's been oh she is not happy this camera won't focus but she is there there she is hello will it come out for the oh my goodness he tried to bite the straw yeah I'm very oh my goodness will you stop doing that oh she kicked his I'm gonna close the door I don't like dedicating his no thank you she kicked a lot of his Whew. no I'm no thank you not today. Let me see what did she do to the straw? Yo, she destroyed this thing. Anyways, yo, I don't like this spider that much. Especially when she's unhappy, she hates everything. So this enclosure will be for a fishing spider, which I'll hopefully be acquiring soon. The silicon is still drying, so I'm gonna have to wait, but you are going to want to see what this will end up being. I'm also going to be trying to get a uh, water scorpion. Oh look at that. It is stretched out. Look at that. Gorgeous spider. She's got that marks on her abdomen. Oh, look at that. She's showing it. Beautiful spider. But quite dangerous. This is the most dangerous animal I own. She ate yesterday, so so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and if you have anything 
to say about this video please comment down below this is Rick Dissect out